Hey guys, this is Passions, and welcome to my new Let's Play The Sims 3 Dragon Valley with a little bit of Supernatural in it. Yes, I've never really played uh, the Supernatural expansion pack. I have it, but I never really played with the Supernaturals. So I decided that um, I'm going to play with a little bit of stuff of Supernatural, but I'm not going to play with all of them. I'm going to choose one main character and that's going to be the character that I'm going to stick with. I don't know which type of supernatural I want to choose yet um, because I want my supernatural, of course my supernatural is going to be a male because I want him to marry one of the elven uh, female sims that I've seen in Dragon Valley. They're so beautiful and colorful. I just love them and I just thought that I'm going to create a male sim, give him a little backstory and I'm going to ha have him find love in Dragon Valley with an elven. Alright, so let me read this little description about Dragon Valley and we'll get started. Okay, welcome to Dragon Valley, a land of myth and fantasy. It's been years since any adult dragons have terrorized this peaceful town, but it's not yet time to rest. The elven sims of Dragon Valley are working to ensure that their military is up to par. Their citizens are prepared for disaster, and that the scientific hold on scientific techniques they've used to keep the dragon links small stay intact. The skies may be clear for now, but beneath the surface, a conflict is brewing between the myth Mithrilin and O'Connell families for control of the town. Its tradition. It's tradition versus progress. On which side will you stand? Hmm. I guess we don't know yet. All right. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so as you can see, I already had created my uh, character. Uh, his name is uh, Kitai Merlion. Um, okay, I'll introduce you to him in a minute, but right now we have to decide uh, which house am I going to move him into. An empty lot or a lot that's already made. Since I really don't like moving into empty lots because I'm not quite good at, you know, building and stuff, so... Alright, so let's see what houses are available. I saw... Alright, so there's one here. There's one here. There's one over here. Over there. And, uh... And I think that's sh just about it. This world is quite small, so I kind of... That's one of the things I like about it. Um, I like small worlds. I, don't get me wrong, I like the big worlds as well, but I, I, I don't know, I just, for some reason I, I like them small. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at this house. Alright, this is a simple shack, two bedroom, one and a half baths, 20 by 29. Uh, let's take a look at it. Okay. It's surrounded by colorful, colorful trees. Uh, has a really small little backyard I think it is all right and since I'm planning on having him have you know I want him to have a family of course you know I don't know how large the family is gonna be but definitely I want him to have a family uh, it's quite small it really is it really is yeah yeah Mm, I don't like this one. All right, let's go check out this one over here. Over here. <laughs> For some reason, it's like today I do not know how to speak. It's been a while. I haven't recorded anything since I've been sick. Yes, and finally I started. I'm starting to feel way, way better than before. So I'm trying to get back, of, you know, track of things. 
Alright. Uh it's it's okay. I'm, it's nice, but I don't know. I'm not feeling it. No. I like that it has a big front yard. I wish that it had a small front yard and instead it had a bigger backyard. But I'm like it's it's nice. It has a cute little view in the back, you know, the lake or whatever, but I don't know. I'm loving these mailboxes. They're so medieval. <laughs> All right. Um Where's the other house? Okay, I saw this one. I saw that one. Um Oh, here it is. All right. Okay, so this is the cozy and content one bedroom, one bathroom. Oh no. Already I can tell you it's way too small. Yeah. I'm like, it's a cute little thing. It really is. Oh, it's it's very cute, but on the outside. The inside is mm. well, it doesn't look that bad. It definitely doesn't have oh. It's cute. I kind of like it, but I kind of like this one better than the other ones so far. Let's see this one, and then... All right. Okay, so this one's a little bit bigger, but still is a one-bedroom. Okay, so this is the Meek Manor. Alright, okay. Oh, okay, this is the house that Landros is playing in his LP. Okay, this is a cute house. It's very adorable. Yeah, I, I've seen it. Yeah, I'm like, it's workable. It kind of is, but he's not gonna be living in this house for long. I'm like, you know, once he's ha build enough money, you know, then um. Definitely, I'm going to move him to a bigger place. But if I were to keep him here, he definitely has room to grow this way. You know, there's plenty of room on this side over here. So if I move him in, this is a very beautiful house. I love it. Um, I'll move him in, into this one, but we won't be living in, in it for quite a long. Because, like I said, I want him to earn some money. And then I want him to move in one of the bigger houses because he's planning to have a family and, you know, I don't know if I want him to have quite a large family, but definitely it won't be big enough for this house. I mean, this house won't be big enough for them. All right. All right. So he is left with only 940 simoleons. All right. Okay. So while it loads and stuff. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh yeah, I just um installed my my new updated progression um my story progression mods and all my other mods um with the new um patch, you know, that really recently came out, so. Okay. So let's see. Yes. Let's express this memory going to local finger. Uh huh. Okay, fine. Okay. All right. So as you can see, I decided to work with a male fairy. I love fairies. Fairies are one of my most favorite um fairy tale supernaturals. I love them. I love mermaids, fairies, then witches, then vampires, and then werewolves. Just like that in that order. <laughs> so, as you can see, I'm so excited about Island Paradise. I cannot wait for that expansion to come out. It's just, I'm so excited. So, I want you to meet um, my handsome fairy. Uh, come over here, Kitai, and introduce yourself to everyone. Uh, I why is it that every time I'm going to introduce my sim to you guys, they're always blogging or playing with their phones or something and they ignore me? Katai, 
Thank you. Okay. Isn't he adorable? I think he's quite adorable. I love his blue, simple little wings. You know, I didn't want to give him those other, you know, um, large wings. I felt like that's more like for females. This one is very simple. So I gave him these um, bright aqua, kind of like aqua blue eyes. You know, what's a fairy with uh, beautiful, colorful eyes, right? Oh, God. Let me just go down. There we go. Alright, so that's what he looks like. I uh, gave him some of the uh, elven uh, fairy ears, you can say. Because I want my kids, that they're born, you know, I want them to have these adorable little ears. I don't want them to have regular sim ears. I want them to have elven fairy ears. And definitely, I would love for them to have his beautiful eyes. Alright, so... His traits are adventurous, family-oriented, equal-friendly, hopeless romantic, and charismatic. He loves indie music, loves potato and truffle tort, and his favorite color, of course, is blue. Okay, and days until aging up is never. Uh, basically. <laughs> no, I gotta change that, because I was doing other things and I stopped the aging so I gotta change it but he's a young adult and of course I always give my uh, main sims I always give them something of me and is that's my sign which is cancer and um, his lifetime wish is to be super popular I decided to just give him a very easy um, wish and stuff so you know so we can get started with something very easy so he wants to be friends uh, 20 cents which I know it won't be that it won't be that hard. I think it won't be. Alright, so his name is Kitai Merlion. Before I said M Merlion? Merlion? No, it's Merlion. Kitai Merlion. And as you can see, the name Kitai, I got it from... Oh my god, from Will Smith and Jaden Smith movie, uh... After Earth, I think it is. I fell in love with that name. I just love that name that was given to that boy in that movie. I love it. And um, I decided to use it on him. And um, and Merlion is kind of like Merlin. Yeah, kind of like Merlin. But I didn't want to call him Merlin. You know, so um, I added the O. If, if you guys don't know who the wizard, you know, Merlin, you know, is, then uh, we need to Google all right, so this is his wardrobe. This is his everyday wear. You know, I decided to give him these little shoes that have this little little pointed uh, uh, front of the shoes. It's like it has this little point that is kind of like lifted up. It's pointy. So I thought it was perfect, you know, since he's a fairy and all. And this outfit, of course, came with Dragon Valley. I think these pants did too. I'm not quite sure. All right. I'm going to have him, <laughs> look at that face, I'm going to have him change into his formal wear, so you guys can take a look at uh, Lord. Um, what his, his formal wear looks like, okay, um, okay, can we change into your formal wear, buddy, come on. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I'm not taking a picture of you right now, so stop holding. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, like I had mentioned before, um, I'm going to be using some supernatural stuff. So as you can see, this is part of the um, supernatural <laughs> wardrobe. So I decided to give him this cute little outfit. I thought <laughs> he looked adorable with it. You know, so that's his formal wear. And, uh... Let's check out his sleepwear, which is very simple, very, very, very <laughs> simple. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, as I can as I can see, you're really into that phone, so we'll probably start um, blogging. Obviously, play a trick on someone. Oh, why not? And you want to join the business career? Mm, I don't know. 
if I want to Lorky. can we change into your sleepwear like seriously oh my god and as you can see I never use these never so I thought why not use them here oh my god look at this body he's so see Lish, where Whoa. are you going mm-hmm yeah, well, stop booing him and you boo whoever you are. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so that. Oh. Um, change into your <laughs> swimwear. Actually, no, I don't need to show you his swimwear. It's just the, the little speedos that come with the game. I think it's. Yeah. Uh, and, uh. Let's see. Let's see what I gave him for. And for athletic, it's just basic shorts and some sandals. And I'm going to show you the outfit that came with uh, this game, which is uh, Dragon Valley. Oh, there he goes. He's still changing to his... Yep. Bro, you need to go be. boo yourself out of here. Who's that? <laughs> oh, I'm about to... Sh you know what? Ask everyone to leave. Hurry up and change into your outfit. There we go. Oh, look at him. Oh, that was a little elven. You saw the little boy? He was a cute, adorable little elven boy. Alright, um, and this is his, uh... Oh, my God. And this is his, um... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is his outerwear. Yep. And this is what I chose. This um, outfit came with uh, Dragon Valley. I changed up the colors a bit. And that's its outerwear. Simple. Alright, go change back into your everyday. And let's see what you want to do. You, of course, you want to become friends with someone. I don't want you to... Let's see. Uh... Oh, we might work oh. on that. Uh, send a text to Precious Mayberry. Who is Precious Mayberry? You. You're Precious Mayberry? No. No. We're not gonna... Oh, my. We already got visitors? Oh, my, my. We already got visitors. Alright. Um, That's it? Just one? One visitor? Okay. Okay, so let's just take a look at this visitor here uh, and I think she is cute look at that cute little face I love it look at her hair and her skin look at her ears and her name is Ava Kelly she has a very pretty name so we are going to I uh, Give her a friendly introduction because right now you you have to work on your charisma skill. So we gotta we definitely gotta get you a tablet, most definite. Okay, let's see. Is there anything here? You don't need anything here. Let's see. Before I even start buying stuff, let me just check. All right, toilet sink. Okay, you got all the essentials, everything you need. All right, perfect. So let me get him that tablet so he can start working on his, all right, here it is. There we go. There we go. All right. All right, so I'm going to have him start working on his charisma skill. Right. Okay, you need to say goodbye to this person. This person needs to go. She was over here booing him and, you know, she wants to be I talking to him. She needs to bounce. Alright. No, 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 where are you going? No, 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 no. Free. No, 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 no. Wow. Um, let's do, right, ask about her career, ask her about her alma mater, um, get to know her, 
Yabluki. And Duo Klaviglarn van de Skije. Artab. We'll talk about family because you're family oriented and, uh, you know, show her a funny video and let's see. Okay, she has a Korean business. Oh, mm -hmm. they wouldn't have that in common. And uh, soon? No, not a silly face. No. Uh, where else? Show internet cat video and tell her a funny story. And she graduated from community high school, business, she's a workaholic, and she's ambitious. Okay, she thinks he's being awkward. See, that's why he seriously needs to get that charisma skill. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's a schmoozer. Oh, she is a schmoozer. I don't mind that she's a schmoozer, as long as she doesn't try to smooch money out of my money. Everything is cool between us. Knock a flame, no. Hicks a fibna. Harzebni Welki. And I think she's so cute. Uh -huh. I really do. She got a cute little face. But, of course, we're not going to get hung up on just her because we just met her. We're going to have him, um, you know, go around <laughs> and, you know. But I'm definitely going to take a picture of her. There we go. And I'm going to put it on my um, blog and on my Facebook and Twitter and all that. And I'm going to do that with every girl he meets. Aww. And um, <laughs> then I guess within time, you guys can tell me which one you think would be better for him. If not, then I'll just choose <laughs> the best one for him. Gazni. The best uh, female Charles. element. Sim. So far, Nina her name is Nebrabon. Ava Kelly. Alright, right, so they're acquaintances right now. Alright. Mm, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, he's hot. He needs to go somewhere to cool down. Maybe Bibby. No, he wants to be oh, friends with someone. Well, he's doing good so far. Um, let's go here. Family oriented. Ask her sign. Oba Ask if she's single. Mm. Laracus Salini mm. Lashini. Farzi uh -huh. Mini Boli mm -hmm. Tanu. Nanus. She's a Pisces. Oh, where is she going? Why did Oh, she's a witch. Precious Mayberry is a witch. Where did she go? Why did she leave me? Oh well. Okay. So let's go inside. Go inside so he so this warm mood like can just aw. He compliments are quite flattering. He's flattered. Alright. Get inside. Okay. Uh hello. Uh Alright. Cool down. Alright, we need to cancel the newspaper. We're definitely not gonna use it. Uh, services. Cool services. Cool down. I'm gonna have you okay here, cancel the newspaper. And, uh, let's see, have it, some <laughs> orange juice. That should probably help you cool down. And you're not going to university, so we can sell that. Okay. We'll put it up here for now. But before we move, we need to take it with us. Alright, 
After that, he needs to use the bathroom. Wash your hands. Alright, I'm gonna have you continue learning on that charisma. Alright. There we go. And then, I, I didn't... I don't think I put up my venue. I don't think I did. No, I just started playing the game. Yeah. Alright. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to put up my venue that I got with this um, world. And I'll be right back. Okay. So, uh, let's go to map view. So, I installed the um the what is it the the renaissance dukes venue anyway they came with this world that if you get the gold version of course it give you um what is it 900 1900 uh sim points and you can get it with it um i think it's right here because i remember because of this so it's right here where um I put it it's right there this is where I put it and I also added the festival lot that uh, Simguru Smitty did it's uh, right here mm -hmm. and it's right here there it is that's the festival lot and as I can see here, I see another Elven. And let's see. Does she have? Cause I want him. Oh yeah. Oh wow, she's pretty. She has these big eyes. Oh wow, let's see. And she has pink eyes. Oh, her name is Mary. Marianne Hooley. Oh, okay. So we definitely gotta um introduce ourselves, like I said, and then you know, I guess within time we'll decide who is gonna be the one for him. Yes. All right. So I'll have him introduce himself to her. You know, just you know, introduce himself just to have her on our uh queue, I guess. And then we're definitely. Oh my God, where is that? freaking lot right here then we're definitely gonna go here uh, definitely gonna go here because I know there's uh, dragon eggs and this episode cannot end without us at least getting a dragon at least at least oh of course he's um eco-friendly so I have to get this boy a bike or something so he doesn't have to be um Okay, so he got a, himself a charisma skill. Alright. Uh, that's a great outdoors. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay. Alright, so. Let's see. Let's see. Definitely need to take a picture of her. Vujin loves its babaga. Okay, just please don't turn up to be a little snob. Because we know you're cute, but my guy is a very sweet guy, and um, he doesn't deserve a snob. <laughs> Valim. All, right. All right. See how pretty you look when you smile? There we go. All right. Oh, they're starting to look cute together. All right. <laughs> I'll show her a funny video. Mm, cat's video. Tell her something funny. A funny story, I guess. And then... Get to know her. Actually, the funny <laughs> story can wait. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Energized by Moonlight. Alright. Oh, look at that cute little elven girl walking over there. I can't wait until my guy has kids. Like, seriously, I can't wait. 
I'm dying to see which Aww. traits will they take. Aww. Will it be his traits? Will it be her traits? I can't wait to see what they look like. See, she's cute. I love her because she has these <laughs> big eyes. Ajinka Bibazor. Buango Changali. Toba Shamor Right, Rangi. get to know her. Juxipto Ingrid Bob. Taguni Ribby Wib. Ubi Rez. Nubli Fazuna. Nubli Fazuna. Ubi? Okay, what is going on? Girl, get back. <laughs> Ye room. We'll be excited about. Okay. You didn't get to know anything about her yet? Come on, I wanted you to get to know her. Let's just, you know, speed this up a bit. Our time of Frey. And even though I have story progressions going, and I know, um, the girls and the guys tend to get involved pretty quickly. So if we're gonna find him a mate, we have to find one fast. If she's single, because they're I'm telling you, they get they get caught up real fast, real fast. So, um. We gotta, you know, hurry up and find someone. Oh, giblets. Okay. All right. He still hasn't made friends with anyone yet. She's hungry, so she's leaving. All right. Let's go to that. Oh, who's this? Windburn. Is this a guy? An old lady? Yeah. We don't want old ladies. For the simple fact that uh, we want babies. Where is that lot? I gotta get to know this world. Oh my god. Here it is. Alright. Come here. And hopefully, um... Also, I gotta get him... A job. But I don't know what kind of job I want him to get. <gasps> Look at his wings. They just, they come out of the car. Alright, let's forward this a little bit. So we're definitely going to get a, a, a dragon egg. I want him to get a dragon egg. Um. So, okay. So let's see, what should I have him do? Before anything. Oh, uh, what can we do? I know that there's a a violin here, but if someone played it already, it's gone. It's taken. I know because of Mandros. Uh, because of him. Because I've seen him. And, um... Yeah, I think it's gone. I think it was here, and now it's... Oh, no, wait, I see something. Oh! Right here. Here. Play traditional. Actually, there's two. There's another one over here, too. Alright, that's awesome. But what I don't see is... Let's go up another level. I don't see... Let's go up another one. Yep. I don't see a dragon egg. I swear, I thought if you come here, you find an egg, but I don't want to end this episode until he has found at least one. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, he sounds horrible. Alright. Alright, let's go up one more level on this side. Nope. see no I don't see anything 
I don't see anything. Nope. Alright. Nope. Nothing over there. What about over here? Is there anything up here? Nope. Nothing. I guess... Well, did we check this place? Yes, we did. We checked this place already. Okay. Well, there's nothing. Alright. This sucks. It sucks bad. Alright, that's okay. Um... Let's see... I know that the festival is closed. So is there any other place that we can go to? Oh, let's see. The heart and history of the gallery. Uh, what about this? What's this? McCaffrey's Pub. Let's go here to McCaffrey's Pub. Yep. Yep. Hopefully, we'll find an egg or something. Come on, stop. Alright. I would love to find an egg, but if we don't find one today, then I guess in the next part, I guess, I'm assuming. Who was this? Oh no, that was that. Well, if you buy the, the I guess, the Renaissance venue, you get the um, black dragon. So I'm hoping the first one I get is the black one. Because the other ones, you know, I want to get. But I want to get the black one first. Oh, that's my phone. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, so... I love his wings. They're blue and so glittery and sparkly. I just love them. Come on! Load up already! <sighs> Alright. Alrighty. Oh, this is a nice place. Seriously, like, who would sit here? Like, it's huge. Where are you going? Why are you going home? I want you to find a freaking dragon. Oh my god, here we, we found one. First, we're going to talk to it. Um, Let me see if I remember. Uh, I guess it's this one. Plot against enemies or converse about existentialism. Physical prowess. I don't remember which is which. I know the love of fire, of course, is the red dragon. Uh, the talk about friends is the green one. I'm assuming... Talk about weather. Um, no, no, no. Talk about friends is the purple one, red, purple, and I'm assuming about weather is the green one, and plot against enemies could be the black one. I guess we'll talk about plotting against enemies. Um, and then you pick up the egg. I don't know. But we'll see what happens. If we don't get it, then we know it's the other. Um, um talk about I exist existentialism. I whatever it's called. <laughs> All right. Where are you, anyways? Oh, there you go. Oh, you're tired. That's why you want to go home. Okay, we we'll go home right now, and I'm gonna end this episode. 
as soon as uh, the dragon hatches, of course. Oh, the Bozoltas. Uh -huh. <gasps> I do do do. Look at him. Oh. Looks so weird. Mm -hmm. Mina Bucci. I haven't uh, thought about no. what I want to name my dragon. <laughs> oh, he's exhausted. <sighs> Like, I don't know what I want to name it. If it's the black one, pick up the... Fr Why can't you pick it up? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. I can't leave. Well, it'll hatch in five hours, but... You know what? Is there something here that you can just nap in? Let me see. I can fly. Good for you. Is there somewhere here where you can just nap? Take like a nap or something. There we go, here. Nap. There you go. Nap. Because I am not leaving this egg. No, I am not. <laughs> so, go take a nap. Right now. And, um... we still got five hours. Oh, you see? Wait. Robin Hooley has been renewing his affections towards partner Marianne Hooley. They are so together. So good together, whispered a looky Lou. Oh, she is uh, dating uh, Robin Hooley. I guess not dating. I guess they're married because they got the same last name. So, well, I don't care. I don't care. So, you see what I'm saying? If we don't hurry up, you know, the girls get, you know, taken. Taken away from us. Alright, this needs to hurry up. So I'm going to forward this, and as soon as the egg is about to hatch, then I'll be right back. Okay, so the egg is about to be hatched in 24 minutes. So I'm going to have him put out the egg. In the meantime, so let's go use the potty. Wash your hands. Take a quick shower while you do all of that and then you know we'll just wait here for the egg to hatch uh three minutes two one oh we got the green dragon it's okay i wanted the black one but that's okay that's all right so we okay so what are we gonna call uh our green Baby dragon. Uh, what should we call it? Oh my god, he's adorable. Uh, feed him. Uh, play with him. Talk to him about gardening. Summon some treasure. And, um, of course, um, we gotta change his name. Oh my god, oh my god, what, what am I going to name the green one? I know the black one, I want to name him Midnight. The red one, I want to name it Fury. And the purple one, of course, I'm going to name him Charming, like Prince Charming. And um, the green one, I never thought about the green one. Well, you know what? I know what. Wait, I don't know how to spell. I don't know how to spell. We'll name it Emerald. There we go. Emerald. He or she or whatever it is. Um, its name is Emerald. Oh my god, that's so cute. What was that? Alright. So as you can so the red one is gonna be named Fury. The purple one will be named Charming, and the black one will be named Midnight. Midnight or Onyx. Yeah. One of those two. I might name it um, Midnight or Onyx. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Feed, feed emeralds. Feed them, feed them, feed them. All right, what does it say? Mark of the Green Dragon. The wise Green Dragon has shown you that meals and potty breaks are for the week. So, um, our hunger and our bladder will stay up with the Green Dragon. So we definitely need to get the other dragons that will keep our energy and our hygiene high. No. 
Oh, so I think it's the black Eevee dragon time. that does that. I'm not sure. Huh? <laughs> Alright, definitely we gotta take a picture of him and Emerald. Oh my god, I'm so excited. There we go. Alright guys, so I am going to leave it here. I didn't want to end this episode until he got a dragon and we got one. Alright guys, so if you guys like this video, don't forget to sub, like, and comment. I would gladly appreciate it very, very, very much. And also follow me on Facebook and Twitter where I will be posting updates periodically. Oh my god, what was that? What, what was that? Oh, that's right, the treasure. Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot all about it. All right. So, uh, collect it. All right. So, like I said, so if you guys like this, don't forget to like um, and comment and sub and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I would gladly appreciate it very much. Thanks for stopping by and watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and happy simming.